in this video we're going to try and catch a fish as big as me. Oh lord! <laughs> a big one! Someday we'll make it on <laughs> Welcome to the giveaway. In this series, Team AD fish to win you Angling Direct gift vouchers. In every single episode, one lucky subscriber will win at least £100. The concept is simple, a challenge will be set. If we fail, you win the £100, but if we pass, we will double the vouchers to 200 So, what do you need to do? Firstly, sit back and enjoy the video. Secondly, you must be subscribed to our ADTV YouTube channel and then comment the giveaway in the comment section below. We're going to randomly select a subscriber from the comments below and then we'll announce that winner in the next episode of the giveaway. The rest is up to us. Can we double your money? Let's see. So there's one freshwater species that springs to mind if we need to catch a fish bigger than Amanda, and that's the Wells catfish. So we're over at Waveney Valley Lakes, which is very well known for its carp fishing, especially in the 70s and the 80s, but a couple of lakes on the complex do hold some very large catfish. So fingers crossed, hopefully we can catch some catfish, and if we can catch one bigger than Amanda, we can double your money from £100 worth of AD vouchers to £200 worth. But before we get started, I quickly want to mention the winner from the last episode of the giveaway, who I'll tag above me here. Congratulations, you've won £100 worth of vouchers. Widget was so close on that last episode, he did catch a few carp from Linear, and he did catch one over £30, but it wasn't quite heavy enough to win you £200 worth of vouchers. So if you email the address below, we'll get those vouchers sent out to you as soon as possible. So if you want to go catfishing, they're well known for biting extremely hard. So let's talk about the hardware that we're using. So really we're just using stepped up carp gear because the catfish in here, they do go big, about 60, 70 pounds, but they're not Spanish sized catfish. So all we're using is stepped up carp gear. We've got three and a half pound test curve carp rods, big bit reels with 20 pound main line, and that should be plenty enough for these catfish in here. Well, as Amanda mentioned, the catfish in this lake, they are big catfish, but they're not enormous catfish. Therefore, the rigs reflect that. We can use a stepped up carp fishing approach. There is a running rig rule here at Waveney Valley when fishing for the cats. So I've got a nice, simple running rig. I've got a length of rig tubing with a large ring that rides up and down that rig tubing down to a buffer bead. And the hook link is quite important. I've got a 35 pound coated hook link and I haven't stripped back any of that outer coating and that'll protect it against them rubbing pads that the catfish have got. And a nice big hook on the end there, that's a quarter wide gate X size two hook with a giant snowman. I've got a 20 mil krill active on there, tipped with a 15 mil pop up and I'm sure that's gonna trip up a few of these Waveney Valley catfish. Now we wait. Right, so we know we need to catch a catch bigger than Amanda. Yeah. We don't actually know how big that is yet. Nice. It's rude to ask it's about three foot how much you can weigh. So we're gonna do it on length. <laughs> We're delegating it, so man, if you lay down, <laughs> me, me and Phil are going to measure you. Can't even make me and lay then down. We are going to know. <laughs> going to know how big the catfish needs to be. You don't can even... I take my shoes off? Yeah, get, everything counts. Take your hat off as well as an extra centimetre. Okay. <laughs> lay down. Here we go. Right. Right, Phil. Right, so, you... so about there. Five. No, no cheating. No cheating. <laughs> should nice be, and flat. I should be five don't two. Don't point your toes because that's not helping. Five two. I should be. I think that is. Isn't right. It? You ready? So I'm going right to say <laughs> 62 centimetres, which is just uh, over well, 5 62 two. centimetres is two foot, you goon. That's 62 <laughs> inches. 62 <laughs> inches. <Sorry. laughs> Tell I'm not a builder, can't you? <laughs> 62 it. inches, which is just so I'm going to say, yeah, 62 inches is the catfish size you need to beat, all right? How big is that? In, I don't know, we'll find out, won't we? What do you reckon? <laughs> 60 pounds. Well, you ain't got to lay a lot of board anymore. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon? Um, I'd like to think 50 pound is 50, getting 60 there, pound? 60, I reckon. 60. 60. Right, well, there you go. You know how big to be. Let's see what happens. Catch one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what does that say? <laughs> Don't 
chickens. <laughs> Let me have a look. Let me hold it up. I don't do chickens. Which is right for you because you don't. Fair play. What is a male chicken? Would you <laughs> <laughs> don't make me say it, Phil. <laughs> Now the fun starts, Phil. It doesn't feel like a huge <laughs> one, but I did say to Widget, I'm getting, it could just be me, I'm getting a lot of fizz in and there's a few catfish tail slaps in my swim, so I moved my chair next to my rods, I was that confident. She feels okay now and I've sort of caught up with it. Um, Anyone that's caught catfish, <laughs> you'll know how hard they pull, so we'll be pushing this gear to its limits, I should imagine. We're in the middle of a storm as well so it's going to be pretty windy <laughs> don't know how we've, whoa, <laughs> don't know how we've avoided the rain but at the moment it's looking a bit grim on the weather front but good on the fishing front good fishing weather where's my little helper can you reel that other rod in amanda please here she comes i've got one as quick as she can This could be as big as you, Amanda. It could be. It could be a five-foot fish, and then the challenge will be done. Then we go home. <laughs> we go no. home. <laughs> no, we'll try and catch another one. And <laughs> yeah. You need to try need and get to catch one. one. You'll get them. Then I'm going to come on the feed. Weather's yeah. Weather's changed now. Yeah, weather's bad for um, us. It's stormy, but uh, good for catfishing. Yeah, it looks like it might get. You right there in the back of the field? You just. <laughs> <laughs> we need a little. Um, it might take a little while. A little graphic 10 hours later. <laughs> it is what? <laughs> the fun starts when you've got to get it in the net, doesn't it? That's Amanda's job. That's my job. Come on, Phil. Oh, it's brilliant. It's starting to rain. <laughs> oh, brilliant. It's taken Phil so long, it's now <laughs> raining. It's now officially got into autumn. It was summer when I hooked it. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's how long it's taken. Oh. Are you getting there? Are you getting there? Yeah, we'll get the net. I saw the end of it then. It's a big one. It's all the way up the spread of block. And now start lifting. Whoa! <laughs> 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 now lift and shake, lift and shake. You're right there. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> <Like Yay>! Yes! <laughs> First one! Well surely that's a contender. That's isn't a it? big one. It's a big one. <laughs> Anyone that's caught catfish knows how slimy they are, so the waders and the coat are going on, so I don't get covered in slime. I'm hiding in the bivy because it's wet. <laughs> What's at the end of the rainbow? Oh, a five foot catfish. A five foot catfish at the end of the rainbow. Well, let's see then. Let's find out. Matter. Okay. Righto. He's fairly long, isn't he? You get that in. <laughs> That's like Whoa. two inches short, isn't it? <laughs> Hold on, what's that? Five? It's, hold it That's out. That's literally five. Five foot, foot. almost. It's five foot. Oh, it's two inches short. Two oh, inches no short. way! <laughs> Why are you so lanky? <laughs> Amanda, be oh. shorter. That's not yeah, a bad start, though, is it? Close. Uh, let's see it then. Hold it up. I'll let you get the, uh, get the tail end. How do you hold this? Well, you'll be alright. All you've got to do is support the tail. I'll get the, yeah. this end. That's always the tricky end. You get the slimy end. You get the uh, horrible end. Uh. Well, there we go. <laughs> what a fish. A five footer, that one, isn't it? <laughs> right. As the lure anglers would say. That is huge. Though. That's not a bad start, is it? <laughs> <That's> it. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, at least we know that that is possible, isn't it? Yeah. If the first one is five foot, this isn't the biggest fish in the lake, is it? No. We need to weigh it to find out. I yeah. think we should weigh it to see. I think it's going to be a big 40. Yeah, OK, we'll do that. Yeah, let's weigh it and so. tell I think we're off the ground. You're about to. Bridget, you might <laughs> we're have not to stand up. <laughs> Bridget, I think we need to swap roles. Amanda, you film, Nolte. <laughs> Take the camera. <laughs> <laughs> You're only five foot two. We need to. Hopefully, off the ground. I'll be tall enough now. Right. Are we off? I think we are, aren't we? What is it? 47 something. And a few answers, yeah. So 47 ish. So Probably need a 50. Probably need we? a 50 pounder to be as long as you, Amanda. That's doable. I guess 46, did not yeah. it? Thank you. Go and grow two inches longer. <laughs> yeah. Well done, Phil. Thank you. Well done, Philip. <laughs> Can I go next? Your turn. Well, that was really encouraging to get that first fish and it'd be 47 pound and only about two inches too short. Well, at least we know there's definitely catfish in here over 60 pounds. So if we can get one a little bit heavier, I think we will smash that challenge that is as long as Amanda. I'm quite keen to get these rods back out. That might mean we're now coming into bite time. It's a bit more overcast. We've had some heavy rain. Definitely feels a little bit more fishy. And when I put these out, I'm going to talk you through the areas that I'm choosing to try and catch these catfish and exactly what I'm doing. I've decided I'm going to drop them out with the bait boat just because of how super neat it is. I'm casting these running rigs with quite big baits. It just means I get the perfect presentation. So there's a nice big generous dose of pellets and boilies going in the boat. And I did have a little lead round when I got here and found some slightly firmer spots out there. I wouldn't say that it's clean gravel. I don't think it matters that much for catfish. The biggest feature you look for is your bait. If you put plenty of smelly pellets out, then catfish will find you. Your turn next. I know, I feel like I need to move them now because. You need to move them? <laughs> yeah. I've got itchy feet now, Phil's had one. I want to go. Mm, <laughs> not convinced, but if you want to, do it. I'll give it till six and then I'll, I might change. All right, what's the time now? Ten past five. <laughs> Tea time! Tea chicken time! Rat time. <laughs> Standard chicken wrap time. <laughs> That'll be a giveaway without chicken wraps. Please hope that none of them catch one in the next 10 minutes. It wouldn't be a giveaway without those. You can cook mine now because you're finally finished. Yours are in the pan. Yeah. Nice. Get that down, yeah. Woo. Lovely. Mm. You went a bit too soon Ooh. there. <laughs> right, so I've refreshed both my rods now, new hook baits on both and I decided to put one out in open water because that's how Phil caught and he knows what he's doing so I've done that and it's now savagely raining so I'll try and be quick put that right hand rod in the open channel and then the left hand rod just off the bay in more open, deeper water I'm going to walk around there in a bit and throw a scatter in a bait but if I can hear Phil he's just caught one so we should better Phil's go around in. <laughs> <laughs> Rush it. Oh no it's really raining as well. I'm going to keep you on. Oh look, Phil's putting his jacket on. Right, so Amanda has filled you in with what's happened there. She's refreshed both of her rods. Phil hasn't needed to, because as we were then filming that, something's happening here. Hello there. What's going on here? Did you see me skillfully 
put my coat on whilst playing fish. <laughs> I think I probably got it, yeah. <laughs> Amanda was just telling everyone that she's refreshed her rods into open water because that's where you've caught. I was thinking and, uh, about refreshing this one, to be honest, but with a couple of little liners. There's been a bit of fizzing out there again, and off we strandled. Nice. A nice interruption <laughs> to Amanda's talking section there. They like the rain, don't they? I don't. I'm getting soaked, <laughs> and so is the camera. So can you hurry up and get it in, please? Well, I don't know if you ever can hurry up. <laughs> we go catfish number two I'm not going to bother measuring this one I can see it's not as big as the first one so it's not going to trouble that score sheet. it's a nice fish but I'm just going to slip this fella back so I want to get that rod out before it gets dark because the light is now starting to fade and I'm pretty confident once the light does go completely that those rods are going to go off even more me sorted for the evening. Wish me luck. Luck. What's up with the light? It's me worrying that I didn't have my head torch and then we've got <laughs> Yarmouth Stadium in the face. <laughs> we'll be fine. Uh, we talked this one up anyway. We um so we're gonna get in the sleeping bag. And I guarantee that brings a bite on. I slip my shoes off. Now look what happens. I didn't put my pajamas on. Biggin? I don't know. It's not giving me as much trouble as that first one. Maybe they don't fight so hard when they can't see where they're swimming. <laughs> Well, there we go. That's uh, another quite chunky catfish. Whoa! It's definitely not five foot two. So, slip this fella back, get the rod back out, and try and get a little bit of kip before the next bite. Wrong end. Oh, elegantly done. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go off the back of the mat, that one? <laughs> oh, we'll take it. <laughs> Let's try that again, but hopefully this time Amanda catches it and it's twice as big. complete I think <laughs> to wake me up at this time it better be worth it it's a bit of midnight cat wrestling we've got a contender in the net that's for sure contender captured by your very own GoPro mm. Mm. that's quite big isn't it it's a big I can't end. see the full extent of it here with half woken eyes but it's definitely a contender. It's one, it's one, one for the tape measure so, so uh, let's have a look. Large head. 
That's pretty big. <laughs> I don't know, it's touch and go, isn't it? Right. Important things first. <laughs> Length. Length. What are you saying? You get the important end. Okay, you go. Hold it. <laughs> on the tip of the tip. Right. Yeah. Tip there. Tip there. Bill, I'm following you up this way. Are you on the nose? I can't yeah. see it. I think we call that 62 and a half, can we? Oh, come on, camera, focus. <laughs> 62. <laughs> so there's 62. That's about half an inch longer than Amanda, isn't it? Yeah. I think I'm going to have to give it to you. Hold on, let me step over. Let me just straighten me. Step over. Yeah, this is this literally is close. 62. Are you on the nose, Amanda? Is it straight? Uh, <laughs> Look at the very top. <laughs> to be fair, I said to you, I'm sure I said at the start, I will check the footage. I'll give a 62 as a win. So. I'm giving it to you. Yeah. I'm giving yes. it to you. <laughs> that was. You completed it. <laughs> probably about that much longer. Seriously close. That is pretty much 62 inches. Yeah! <laughs> I've just been here for moral support. <laughs> you, can jump in this, you can jump in the hot spot tomorrow. I'm done. Right, let's see. Um, let's see you hold it up then. I'll get the horrible end, shall I? Horrible end. Should I turn this off? Let's slide that sling out as well. My poor coat. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That is a two hundred pound. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Phil. You've done, you've done it that quickly. <laughs> It Free looks fish, long on oh, here. I had another one when you were asleep. Oh, you've had another one this as well. Oh yeah, you missed one, Amanda. We had this one in between. So this is the fourth. The fourth this is the fourth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amanda's been you've just been, just been asleep. asleep. <laughs> you've just been asleep. <laughs> Done. Going down. Oh. What do we do now? We Sleep. probably <laughs> should weigh it, shouldn't we, just to see exactly what it weighs Why compared not? to the other one. So yeah, let's, do let's do it. Let's weigh it. I'm going to need my tall assistant for oh, this one. Oh, <laughs> you can't weigh this, can you, man? <laughs> right, hold on. You take that, then. I forgot that you can't weigh it. <laughs> right, here we go. You can read it. Ready? Okay. I bet it's not much different than the other one. But... No, I don't. Oh, it's a touch bigger. 40... A... 10, something like 48, 11. Just under 49. So that... Makes sense to be fair, just yeah. a bit bigger, a bit longer. Long, isn't it? No. Right, new plan then. Plan B. Well, we kind of completed it a little bit quicker than you <laughs> yeah, expected. A than <laughs> so, we want a man to catch one, and clearly. Bill, how many is that off the same spot? So that left hand rod, I've had three bites off that same spot on the left hand rod. So i right. found so a bit of a spot, haven't I? I think they're in open water. So plan is Amanda, yeah. nice and early. We'll get up, move you in here because we want you to catch one. And yeah. if you manage to catch one again over the length of you, 62 inches, I will get thrown in five kilo of krill active, the bait that you've been using. Yeah. We'll add, add that. To the winner's prize all right so you're still fishing for something yeah but the main thing it. is we want you to catch one amanda I wanna, so i want to see if you get pulled in yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're gonna get you to catch one in the morning hopefully yeah okay. and um yeah like i said if it is miraculously over that length then we will add the additional prize in might do because you've done it all, pretty much done it already so yeah. i might get to it again sound then. good yeah we'll do that get some sleep first. until then <laughs> sleep time good night nice. Bye. see you in the morning sleep tight
be too tight, mate. I think that's on. It is on. Yeah, I'm at that! Good one as well. You've stolen Amanda's fish! She's got to brush her teeth, apparently, so <laughs> I'll just hang her. She's got it! <laughs> I'm going to run. <laughs> <laughs> Always the way. There you go. I'm not going to have to see if I start brushing my teeth. Hold on. Oh, it's not. I don't know if there's a huge one or not, but you don't really know until you start. It's really windy now. <laughs> Just in time, because the wind is starting to pick up now, isn't it? Savage wind. I'm attached to a catfish. Oh. <laughs> Yay! Yes. I've wiped it out. I've successfully wiped all rods out. Man, I've wiped all three rods out. <laughs> three rod wipe out. Come on. Look at I'll make one. It's just quite small. It is quite small. <laughs> you made a meal of that. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to be massive. <laughs> well, what would you do if you hooked a big one, Amanda? You are only little, though, aren't you? I played that like a girl. Strong, though, aren't they? That's so strong. There we go. My time for a cuddle with a catfish. I can't believe how hard this fought for this size of a catfish. I can't imagine what a big one pulls like. But we have changed the mics over now, so I hope you can hear me a bit better because the wind is really blowing now. But like I said, it wiped out all three rods. So what we've done is we've got them all back out because we've decided we're going to give it a few more hours now because we've caught one. So hopefully we can catch a bigger one because this one isn't going, to isn't going to win anyone any boilies, unfortunately. But it has broken my PB, so it's a good size for me. But we are hoping to catch a bigger one. Thank you for that, but bring a bigger one, please. Go get your granny. Ready, push, deploy. I'm definitely on kitten patrol at the minute but it's a good sign because they're obviously feeding so we need to get that rod back ASAP and try and catch a big one a bigger one than this anyway We were then contemplating how we're going to end the video. We could do one more bite before we pack up, and one of Amanda's rods has gone. So, finally, okay. one of my rods has gone off. I'd say that is a catfish. The way that you're leaning yeah. into that as well, Amanda. I'm going to reel this one in and give you a bit more room. Yeah, go on. It might be. Looks like it. That's a small one, I reckon. Do you want a small one? Go and buy the other ones. <laughs> It's very graceful. It's a shame we haven't got the mic on Amanda to get all these sound effects. I'm grunting like a tennis player. <laughs> Keep the rod up a bit when you get it in the edge here because there is something down there. I'm going to salmon swoop it straight away. Look. Oh, oh, that <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, there we go. It's really nice to end on a fish, and I think we are going to have to end now because it's getting really, really windy. This is the first bite we've had for a couple of hours, so it's that slow part of the day. But well done, Amanda. You were a little bit on pest control this <laughs> Thank morning. You. It was really good to catch a few anyway. They fight so hard, I can't believe it. So. I'm kind of glad I didn't hook a bigger one because I don't think I would have managed it. Oh, if, if you haven't fished for catfish, <laughs> like Amanda said, they probably are the hardest fighting freshwater fish in the UK, so you should give it a go. But we are now going to pack up. But as I caught that fish slightly bigger than you in the middle of the night last night, yeah. there is £200 worth of vouchers up for grab. So all you've got to do, if you're not subscribed to our channel already, click the subscribe button, drop a comment below saying the giveaway, and we will randomly pick someone to win £200 worth of vouchers. So we better slip this one back, yeah. pack those brolies up before they get blown away, and get on the road. That way, fella. <laughs>